I know what I'm looking for. It is a home in this world. I don't mean four walls with a roof on top, though even these I've never had. The attic in the asylum and the stilt-legged Maori cabin where I spent three weeks at Whangaroa, constituting my nearest approach to habitations. As often as not, though, four walls and a roof get in the way are the very point where one is fatally sidetracked from ever having a home in this world. I want a sort of natural order and containment, a, a center of equipoise, an idea, not a cell from which one can retreat from, but a place from which one can advance, a place from which I can stretch out giant shadowy hands and make a road between two obscure villages in China, teach neighbors how to live together, and tidy up the shack dwellings and shack destinies of our own. desire I shall spend every copper on pine sticks for a fire flames shall be my jungler flames my minstrel wife and flames beneath the sky of sparks shall dance for me all night slim Flames and sapphire, waspish flames and green, but a still flame and scarlet, she shall be my queen. I like to remember when my father found or, or purchased this queer old flute that we suitably garlanded with wild cornflowers and scarlet poppies. And we used to execute these formal dances in the evenings with a clothes prop for a maypole. Oh, and mushroom hunting in the high hills, gray with little pungent scented shrubs, sacrifices moreover on the huge druid stone, which remains in my memory, bathed always in ominous blood red light. There in the hills, the music came, which you told me had a perfectly natural explanation. And there was this little ringed and rather frightening place of sunlight and wax-like pink flowers. Once we were scared away from there by a man, enough to cover us like a covey of birds. Then the music began, unearthly, vibrant, trembling, terrible in its sweetness. We all heard it and stared and stared at one another's queer faces. It seemed to me to shake the very heart of the hills. It was what I'd always imagined the wind harp's music to be. A shudder of chords too deep and wise for the mere pattern of a tune. This poem should be painted like a dragon of lacquer tea in old Banga or Carbon like the little quaint and flagon. That holds the tears of roses When 